We are here with Dick Vilda, uh, a great from a great Packer family, and he's going to tell us a little bit uh, about meeting Vince Lombardi. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, Dad was the escort for the Packers. He drove them. I mean, not the bus, but he would. He was the policeman who would drive them to the stadium, the county stadium, and. Uh, Mom drove me to County Stadium, and I sat at the stands and watched the game. And then after the game, Dad told me where to meet him. So I met him there, and Dad took me into the locker room. And how old were you then? Twelve or thirteen. Oh, wow. And, yeah, so that had been about 62 or 63. Yeah, 62 or 63. And Dad walks me in. Here. I'm a little kid, and I'm seeing all these big pros, you know, just like any kid would be. Yeah. And... But this is where it gets funny. Lombardi comes out of the bathroom. <laughs> Just the place you want to meet him, right? Yeah, well, he comes out of the bathroom, so he had whatever. And uh, this is after the game. And uh, Dad goes, Mr. Lombardi, this is my son, Rick. And shook his hand, and he says, hey, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, don't, just normal. Small talk. Kind small of. talk. And that's how I met Vince Lombardi. You shook his hand, no shook doubt? Shook his hand. Yeah, what was your impression of him as a 12 or 13 year Because at 12 or 13, you know, obviously growing up being an ultimate Packer fan, dad's a Packer, you know, I, I've got all these mementos and what have you, and, and to meet Vince Lombardi, because that's when we were just we're starting our run in 1960. Yeah. You know, and I lived and died with the Packers, and to meet the guy, I mean, I idolized him. My dad idolized him. That was and my next question. What did dad think of Oh, Vince? my God. He yeah. walked on water. He walked on water. I mean, it was just, you know, to what he did, he says, this is the way you do it. And, yeah. You know, yeah. So that was my that was my brush with meeting Vince Lombardi. No autograph, though, that you want to share. I've got an autograph oh, with Vince too. Lombardi. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. You just got it all. I've got so many autographs in my basement. Oh, where did I get it? Valued at. My, my basement is probably worth 250000 Did you have somebody come in and take a look at everything? And What's that? Did you have somebody come in and take a look yes. at everything? Yeah, wow. I had a guy come in and uh, give me an estimate on everything. Wow. Boy, and, boy. Then, you know, and I got stuff that I'm still finding for my dad. I found a program. Oh, man, what was it? It was just a program, and it was signed by you name it. It was against the Baltimore Colts. Okay. So there's uh, Gino Marchetti and, and uh, Johnny Unitas and Alan Amici, and, and you go on and on, and then there's all a bunch of Packers on there. And I found it, I go, I haven't seen this thing in 20 years. <laughs> so I ended up taking it, and I ended up selling it. I think I sold it for 750 bucks. You know, I mean, and I got more, I'm finding more stuff now. I got... I've got a, I found a, uh, in my dad's stuff, because dad passed away in 96, I found a folder. I mean, once again, I got Vince Lombardi in there, you know, and Bart Starr always, always signs, and he makes it personal to Joe or Dick or whatever. Yes. You know, and he made a little bit, made a little bit more personal to me, and so I got that, and obviously I got Nitschke, and I got Hallis, and Pete wow. Rozelle, and... Dad got in real big with uh, with the NFL. He was with the alumni up in Green Bay for years with John Biolo. I don't know if you know who John no. Biolo. He was the alumni director. Okay. He played with the, when my dad was there. And, you know, he got in with them. And then every year they'd have the NFL um, NFL meetings down somewhere, Florida, okay, sure. whatever. And Dad would go, you know, and, you know, and then he'd get to meet all these guys. Yeah. In fact, he walked Bart Starr. He, my dad, Bart Starr, and somebody else walked Bart Starr because he was getting some award. He, w he wasn't playing at the time. He, he was done. And he got some award. And, uh, and I got pictures of that and signed, you know. You know Bart would sign it, you know, to Dick, thank you for, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, yeah. What's your, what's your favorite collectible that you have that Dad passed on to you? Any one thing you'd grab? If they said, Dick, you got to pick one thing. Well, it's either the ring or my dad's jersey. I mean, I've got, <laughs> I, I got a ton of stuff, and I like unusual stuff. But yeah, you know, yeah. but you know, it would be my dad's ring or his or his jersey. Well, let's see that ring again. Where are we? There we go. Look at that. 
and that's from the 1944 championship. 44. Game. Yep. Wow. Now, what a lot of people didn't know yeah. is the Packers gave all their alumni two free tickets. To? To alumni. Okay, all right. Here's two tickets. Okay. And they didn't have to pay for them. The NFL stepped in, and I want to say it was about 1970, maybe, somewhere around in there. And they said, you can't do that anymore. Hmm. So then we had to buy our tickets. <laughs> so we bought our two Green Bay tickets, and then we got our six Milwaukee tickets, you know, and, and our seats are the same. Uh, right behind the Packer bench, about on the edge, south edge of the, of the Packer bench, 14 rows up. I love them. Oh, man. You know, Take me to a game. <laughs> <laughs> so you said you've been, to, you've only missed four games since when? Yep. Yeah. Since... Early, no, mid, no, like 74 on. 74 on. So that'd be 84, 94. Yeah. How did, you, how did you survive some of those early years, 70s and 80s? It was tough. <laughs> it was very tough. But Dad always told me it's an experience going here. And I'll tell you, to this day, when I walk through, I, you know, when I go into the stadium and I walk down, I still get a, I get chills. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, it's, it's a privilege. And I was always told, you never, ever leave early. That's right. And I always wait till the last Packer walks on. Oh, do you? <laughs> right to the, the end. And yeah. then I leave. Oh, my goodness. I've always been like that. Cold, rain, snow, whatever. It's always been like that. Like I said, I missed four games. Two kidney stones and an inner ear infection. I don't remember what the fourth <laughs> one was.